welcome to Destination Mohawk House. I'm your host, Nikki Morville. On today's show, happy eighth birthday to us here at Mohawk House. Stay tuned for lots of twists, turns, and surprises on this week's episode. Come with me to check it out. Happy eighth birthday to the Mohawk House. I'm here with my dear friend, Steve Scro. Cheers to eight years. Cheers. Cheers to eight years, folks. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Isn't it? Things just keep getting better here. Eight years they have been here in Sparta. Steve, talk about where you started and now where you're at and what you've built and how amazing this is. Time does fly when you're having fun. And I will tell you, uh, it took us about three years to build this little hot dog stand. Um, and uh, the eight years have, have just moved along uh, quickly and it's been, it's been fun. It's really been a good time. Well, you know, Steve said to me before we started, if you love what you're doing, you never work a day in your life. And I love that quote because I think that stands so true to you here at Mohawk House because you're always having fun. Things are getting done well, professional, and you know, business is booming and it's great. If you do from your heart what you love, um, it is true that you'll never have to work a day in your life. And we do have a true love for people, for animals. We build great relationships with farmers and we're very, very fortunate. Um, we built throughout the community and, and all around, we have become a destination and just makes you feel good to see everybody relaxing, enjoying, and um, we've always wanted to become a landmark and I think we're on our way. Yes, I would agree. Cornerstone of Sussex County, I would totally agree with that. Um, Farm to Plate is really big here at Mohawk House and they really walk the talk. And I always say that to Steve, the honey that you have with our cheese is from our bees. We've got eggs, we've got chicken, we've got all our local beef. It's all right here in Sussex County and that's a real gem because you're not gonna find that in a lot of places, but you find that right here. Yeah. Again, we're really fortunate to have really good people around us. And um, for when I was a kid, my family always raised me to, um, to make sure that you visit all the locals and you support all locals. So that holds true till now. And it does make you feel good when you do visit and you see the work that's behind all our products that we're using and, um, and you see it on the plate. When Chef puts it together, it's, it's very rewarding. It's phenomenal. And, and then you couple it with the fact that, see, 50 beers on tap here. You're not gonna find that anywhere in Sussex County. 50 beers, and like you say, constantly changing. I mean, really, there are so many different varieties here. How do you keep up with that? Probably more than 50 soon. <laughs> but um, I think we're, we're always constantly changing and growing. I like to keep things exciting, and it, and it seems to work out well. I believe we're living the dream. You are. You really are. And you and Rachel have really built such a nice establishment where you've got your servers who really care about their service and the food that they prepare from our chefs in the kitchen. And then you've got entertainment on the weekends. Things are constantly hopping here too. It's like something new and exciting and something for everyone, I feel like. You can I, that's here. important. And um, I always say we're leading the way. I'm always constantly mm -hmm. trying to come up with um, new creative, inventive ideas from the heart mm -hmm. to, to, to create that perfect experience. Um, just to see somebody smile uh, at a table and to, to see families mm -hmm. enjoying themselves. I mean, that's what it's all about. We just So the weekends here at the Mohawk House are hot, hot, hot with so many different entertainers. And Thursday night is just as hot as the weekends. Tonight, the Silver Starlight Orchestra is here. Thursday night, making the house. Go crazy. Tell me a little bit about the Silver Starlight Orchestra. Well, the Silver Starlight Orchestra is a big band. It's four trombones, four tr trumpets, five saxes, and four rhythm plus singers. So it's a big band. We make a lot of noise. We play some great music. That is fantastic. So tell me a little bit about your relationship with Mohawk House and how it is so fun to be in a place like this, with a crowd like this, on a Thursday night? Well, it's really pretty great. Steve Scro uh, invited us up here to play several years ago, and we've come back over and over and over again. And it's a great time. The food's wonderful. He treats us like a million bucks. And the audience loves it. And we're here all night. That is 
so cool, folks. Another reason to come down to Mohawk House, their entertainment is second to none around Sussex County. I am telling you firsthand, you want to get up and boogie down on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, this is the place to be. Wouldn't you recommend everybody coming down and checking you guys out? I'll tell you, if for nothing else, the food and, and the entertainment's the next. But it's a great place to come to. Come on down. Awesome. Folks, yet another reason why Mohawk House is the best in town. So another fun part of the Mohawk House is our fun beer events that happen just so often here. I'm here with Chip Kerr from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, a friend to us at Mohawk House. And tonight, Chip, you're here with all sorts of beers. We've got them tapped, we've got them live. So tell me a little bit about Sierra Nevada. Well, uh, we're from Chico, California. Mm -hmm. uh, we were founded by Ken Grossman. Uh, he was a real innovator in the craft beer world. Um, he's kind of looked at, at the, kind of the godfather of the, of the craft world. Um, when new breweries open up, he's kind of the, the guy they go to. Um, so, started in Chico, California, and now, you know, we're, they're nationwide. Uh, we're the number two craft, uh, craft brewery in the country. Wow, that's exciting. We got the number two craft brewery in the country right here at Mohawk House. Doesn't surprise me because we are ever so changing and uh, our vast selection of beers. Tap in, tap out, that's what they do here. So Chip, tell me a little bit about the relationship with Mohawk House and a, an event like this and what it means. Well, it's just it's just a way for Sierra Nevada to get their name out there, get more exposure. Um, you could probably go around to, to half, of the, half of the customers around here and they probably just know about the Pale Ale. Mm -hmm. They don't know that we do seasonals, they don't know that we have beer camp beers or an Ovala beer. So it's a great way for us to get our other brands out there. Tell me a little bit about what it means to have your taps at Mohawk House and to have people come into an establishment like this. Well, Mohawk House, especially in this part of New Jersey, they, that's what they're known for. They're known for having that premier beer event. So for us to be able to come in, it, it's an honor to be at an event like this and for to have Mohawk House do it. Awesome. Well, look at these fabulous beers. Oh man, my job's so hard. I have to sample beer on camera. So tell me a little bit, real fast, what do we have here? Uh, we're gonna start down here. We have the Summerfest, obviously Summerfest. for the summertime. It's a light, easy, crisping, drinking beer. You get a little bit of a hop character, a hop. but not too much because yeah, it's not bad. That's you know good. it's a summer drinking beer. Yeah, that's really light. Second one is Pal Al. That's a, that's our flagship. That's the reason I have a job right now. You know, that's that's what sells sells I can our. See why. Uh, that is really moves good. the needle Smooth. for us. Yes. You know, it has that really hop character. Easy. You get a little bit of a grapefruit, and that's from the uh, cascade, cascade hops that we use. Awesome, man. Uh, now we're gonna get into our fall seasonal a tumbler. This is gonna be really different from the first two. It's gonna have more of a smoky brown coffee Ooh, kind of kind of I flavor like to that. it. You know, perfect for the fall season. That is really nice. And then these two are really unique beers. These are actually beer camp beers, so they were made by people customers that went out to the brewery for beer camp, kind of like baseball camp, Wait. and we packaged the beer for them. Beer camp? Yes. Come you out. can go to beer camp? Yes. Folks. Pretty cool. That is Pretty really cool. neat. I bet you there's a lot of people out there, a lot yeah. of gentlemen at home saying, why can't I go to beer camp? So this is the uh, red IPA. Wow, that's delicious. Yes. And then our last one from the beer camp is a uh, Belgium Black IPA. It's a little bit higher alcohol. You can get that hop character to it. Whoa, baby. Yeah, kind of smoky. Nice. Yep. Folks, another fabulous reason to love Mohawk House. They've got Sierra Nevada on tap. Great, uh, great beer event here tonight, Chip. We appreciate you coming down. No problem. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Now tell us how the Dogfish Head beer was created. So it's uh, it's from our founder Sam Calagione, uh Started the brew pub in uh, 1996. Um, not only is it a, a pretty cool name or interesting name, it's uh, got a little nostalgia value as well. Um, Dogfish Head is a jut of land in Booth Bay Harbor, Maine, mm -hmm. uh, where Sam and his family would vacation, and uh, obviously lends itself to a, a pretty interesting name for the brewery. The shark is kind of an iconic uh, logo in the craft beer scene, and uh, that's kind of where the name comes from, Sam, with his uh, New England roots. Okay, now you have a relationship, obviously, with the Mohawk House. Mm -hmm. This is Destination Mohawk House. We thank you out there for watching. Uh, we encourage you to try this beer here at the Mohawk House. 
17 different beers, am I right? Is on tap. On tap here? Absolutely. How did you uh, create this relationship with Steve Scrawl at, mm -hmm. at the Mohawk House? Steve's a great supporter yeah. of the craft beer right. scene, and obviously with them having uh, 50 taps, uh, it, makes it, it makes it pretty easy to, uh, to put a lot of good craft beer on. Uh, they're a destination spot, beautiful location. Uh, great thing is they also do bocce here, which is something that's very um, <clears throat> woven into the dogfish head uh, fibers there. We have two bocce courts at our brewery. Uh, it's a great uh, little um, recreational sport to, uh, to play with a beer in hand. Uh, but Steve just supports the heck out of us when it comes to craft beers, uh, whether it's our core beers or limited releases, or uh, he usually has them all and uh, is always trying to, uh, to push the envelope and get the latest and greatest beer. Alrighty, folks, I am here at the Mohawk House Bocce League, Bocce Thursdays, another hot night here at Mohawk House. Here's all the guys behind me. Say hello, guys. Hey. Rowdy group we have here. As you can see, we have a little rain delay, so we're gonna find out all about bocce nights. I'm here with the umpire, the stud himself. Rambo. They call him Rambo, I call him Johnny. Johnny, tell me a little bit about this game here that these uh, boys and girls play, the bocce league that is here at Mohawk House. We put together a, a league with Peroni, as you can see on the jerseys. Um, they're sponsoring the league. Eight teams of four. It's an organized bocce league. All the rules, all the regulations, the full court, the full shebang. Nice. Um, Twelve game seasons, and then we'll have the playoffs nice. every Thursday. So that's exciting stuff. Now, who can get involved? Can anybody who wants to get involved in this bocce league? Unfortunately, it's a closed league. So it's the eight teams sign up. Those are the ones committed. Mm -hmm. um, they will get the first chance at coming back next year. And if not, we will have openings. And, can warm now, up and have fun during the week. Well, when people come, can they watch the Spachi League? They can have some beers and come outside and watch all these guys get crazy? Oh, of course. Everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. Rambo's the man. Well, Rambo's the man, folks. One more thing, Johnny, there's so many things here at Mohawk House. You're a big beer guy. You're a big beer promoter here. Tell me why and tell the folks out there why they should come on down to Mohawk House. Well, we have 50 drafts rotating of craft beer selection. Um, weekly, we have a phenomenal food seasonal menu, American cuisine. Um, you know, whether it's the food, the beer, the wine, the cocktails, we always have great music and great atmosphere. Fantastic. Well, folks, another great reason to stop on down to the Mohawk House. We've got the awesome bocce league right here every Thursday night. So, a uh, good friend of ours is the Seven Acre Baker. And Alisa Schaefer is here with me, owner of the Seven Acre Baker. Alisa, tell me a little bit about the Seven Acre Baker. A year you guys have been together, and I'll tell you, your business is booming. You know, it's it's been really exciting. Um, we started off like any normal startup business, where you think you know what you're doing getting into it, and about three months in you go, oh my gosh, what have I started, what have I gotten into? And um, at this point, we know we've broken a lot of the traditional rules. Um, we've beaten the odds that we're still around, which is a really good sign for us. And um, we're excited for a lot more in the future. Well, I, I can attest to this. Their baked goods are phenomenal, and they just so happen to be on our dessert menu. So when you come in and you order uh, one of the special desserts here, you may be lucky enough to sample something from the Seven Acre Baker. Tell me a little bit about the Mohawk House and the relationship that you have with Steve and Rachel here. Um, you know, it's funny. We we met Steve and Rachel through almost through a backwards channel, if you will, and um, it was one of those moments where we turned a lemon into lemonade. And I won't go much into detail about it. However, it was. It was a real blessing that um, that relationship came from a strange experience. And um, so we, we started talking about what we could do to promote our local business um, and then influx the uh, values that we hold dear, which is to, you know, um, bake things from scratch and to put the love and care into what our product is, um, which is the same, you know, uh, things, it's the same strongholds that hold true here at the Mohawk House. So we saw eye to eye on so many levels and um, we are now on the menu, like you said, with our chocolate mousse cake, which has a raspberry. We, we came up with a term called a raspberry lace. I made this up. It's, it's, it's not a professional term. 
But if I say raspberry lace, you think to yourself, there's a thin layer of raspberry inside. So it's a chocolate, it's, a, it's our decadent chocolate cake with a French chocolate mousse made with all Belgian chocolate and a thin natural raspberry lace. Which is so good, people. Take my word for it. You know, I don't know why I don't have a piece of this cake right in front of me right now, because this guy right here, Steve Scro, the owner of Mohawk House. Talk about how good this cake is, the chocolate cake here, Steve. Where is it? Where why is it? isn't it right here? Oh, it should be right here, this cake. <laughs> And this relationship, honestly, folks, it's so genuine and so sweet, just like the cake, right? So we have something special here tonight at Mohawk House. Folks, you never know who's going to stop by in these doors. We have Mr. Tom Valenti from the owner of West in New York City. We're talking celebrity chef right next to me here. I'm very honored to get to speak with this gentleman who is now a Sussex County resident. So you're one of us now, buddy. Yeah. All right. So tell me a little bit about West in New York City. Well, we opened in uh, May of 2001. Um, it's it's kind of a Upper West Side Cheers kind of vibe. Um, the food is French from my Parisian training and Italian from my heritage. Fantastic. So now you're a local all of a sudden in Sussex County. How does that all work? Works for me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I still do. I, I do the I do the commute because I'm a chef. I don't do the nine to five so it allows me the you know the freedom of being in the in the country where I feel most comfortable tell me what you thought about first time you walked into this place the food the atmosphere what did you get coming from this big New York City chef well you know it's funny I mean I'm not, some of my best friends are amongst the best chefs and restaurateurs on the planet you know and being out here really really weren't seeking to find a Manhattan level or Manhattan caliber of restaurant, but we drove by a couple of times and we were like, you know what the hell, let's give it a shot. And lo and behold, it's delightful. Delightful. Top to bottom. And that is coming from the real deal, folks. So it's just so fun. You never know what's gonna happen when you come in here on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night as we're here tonight. That's right. You get to see someone uh, who's been in the, in the industry for so long made their mark in the city, raised millions of dollars for the World Trade Center, and patronizing, uh, you know, enjoying everything here at Mohawk House. We love it. Nothing not to love. Nothing not to love. So folks, another reason to stop on by. You never know who you're going to see. We you really appreciate <laughs> we, really, we really appreciate it, Tom. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. at the Mohawk House. I am Nerd 101 right now, and I am with Spaz and Mongo. And they're gonna be telling me all about this great night here. Tell me, who are the nerds if people are living under a rock? The nerds have been around since the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been rocking and rolling ever since. And uh, I don't know where you've been. If you've never heard of us, uh, under a rock is probably pretty accurate. Absolutely. Why is it cool to be a nerd? because we get to dress like this. Yes. yes. I love it. So let's talk a little bit about what you guys do. How long have you guys been together playing all over the state of New Jersey? It's the hottest ticket. Really. 28 years. We've been together 28 years. And uh, we come into town a whomping and a stomping and uh, doing what we do. Yeah. And uh, it's Jersey, it's New York, it's Connecticut, and, and some of the other less intelligent states. <laughs> I love it. So tell me what, what the drawing is, because people love you guys. Tell me about some of the songs you have to play that really reels everybody in. It, it's, it's not just the music. It's how we are. It's our pizzazz that they just draws females and males and, 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 oh, and, people like and, that. and other nerds, yes. <laughs> draws in females, males, and nerds. I love it. That pretty much covers everybody. So let's talk about Mohawk House. Okay. Talk about this venue, why you love it. Food. It's all about the food. It's incredible food. The food's great. The food's great, and then it's even greater. 
What about you? I, I like it because it's close to home. Yeah, it is. This has a close to home feel. Tell me, why do you love the Mohawk House? It's pretty close to home. And it's a great place, a lot of nice people, great food. And you have great bands here, especially when we play. Absolutely. And the people, there's always four or 500 people here. It's great. Mm -hmm. You can't beat it. So folks, right here in Sussex County, Mohawk House, the nerds, come here. We do it like two or three times a year. Where can you go where you can see these guys have such an awesome crowd? And a chicken. And a chicken. And have such delicious food and ambiance other than right here. So. Let me guess, the Mohawk. You got it. So here we are with the boys of the Mohawk House. I'm here with Johnny and Jake, and uh, so many facets here of the Mohawk House. One of them is our alcohol, our liquor, our local brews, something we are big supporters of, our locals. So Jake, you're out here running the bar tonight. Talk about the scene, about a night like this and supporting Mohawk House, and this cool night where you gather everybody together. Well, this is what we do when we're part of our community over here. We sell a lot of local brews, and then we're having some great Bacardi specials tonight. And it's for, it's a night for people to get out together and really have a good time and to experience what the Mohawk House experience is really about. I mean, because there's, you know, there's no other imitations out there. It's yeah. just us. We're Mohawk all the way, and always will be. He said it right. No other people can compare to this place. I'm telling you, you have to come here to see it for yourself. So many supporters, and like Jake said, it's the experience in coming here. And tonight, I'll tell you, you don't even feel like you're in Sussex County, and you're in Sussex County, and you can get the experience right here. Johnny, you're a big beer guy here, big expert in all of our beers. Talk about just how cool it is to have all these local beers right here at Mohawk House. It's fantastic. New Jersey has a bunch of great beers, um, whether it's Tri-State, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. We have about a dozen of New Jersey beers from Kane to Carton, and whether it's uh, local farmers or local brewers, you know, they work with us and we work with them. It's a great camaraderie between all of us. Absolutely. It's a harmonious relationship working out here at the Mohawk House. Have fun tonight, boys. Thank you. I am here with a man, Eric Nielsen. Eric, tell me a little bit about a, an event like this tonight. Mohawk House, the relationship, the whole thing. Well, it's really important to uh, me and my people that we support the local farmers here in Sussex County and, and across the state, as a matter of fact. And uh, we've made a commitment with the Mohawk House to run, run a couple of events, do a little fundraising, try and get these guys back on their feet. And really, you know, without a farmer, you don't eat. You know, so... Uh, we're all about the, being in the community and, and we really appreciate uh, the involvement that the Mohawk House has let us have with the farmers to try and, um, you know, raise some money for them. It's so fabulous. You, you raised such a good point. Supporting our local farmers means supporting local fresh produce, the meats, you name it. And we believe in that so much here at Mohawk House. It's just like a, another special thing here. No, absolutely. And you know what? This farmer's market down in Sparta has been terrific. I know a lot of friends and uh, people have really enjoyed, got used to it being there and have enjoyed it. And we, we look forward to a good season this year uh, at the farmer's market. Awesome. Well, Eric, it's always great partnering with you and your fabulous, fabulous uh, the Autumn Wall. You guys do so much over there and you do so much here at uh, Mohawk House. Yeah, but it wouldn't you. be the same without mugs. You know, he, Jerry puts it all together and, and I really appreciate what he does for the, you know, the local kids. We wouldn't yeah. hear about these kids without him. and, and they need their, their time in the light, and uh, I really look forward to his show and, and everything he does for the local athletes and, and the community. It's really, wouldn't be the same without it. Awesome, thanks Eric. Hey, thank you. So Steve, here looking fondly back on your eight years, you have to feel so proud to know that, you know, here you are at eight years and I feel like, you know, it's even like just taking off even more. You take one day at a time and we're constantly looking at what we can do better. I think that's what's really important is that you humble yourself and every day I know that people say we're always packed, I know we're, we're very busy, but at the same time, um, just getting up in the morning and, you know, what can I do better? How, how can I make people happier? And that's important. And from the heart, that's what's important to me. I, I, this guy, is, he's the real deal. He's serious. And I, I can, I really do. I believe in that. They're always on Facebook, which is really cool. Because Facebook is such a neat thing. Like, you guys are putting on pictures of the dishes. You're talking about the ever-changing beers. And that really has a great way of people to connect with you guys to know exactly what's going on. You guys really reach out to your community constantly. We invest in the community. We're, we're always trying to, um, to do for people as much as we can. And we invest in our building. Um, 
we look at it as a showpiece and we're constantly keeping attention to it and um, it's great. I would agree. I mean, you can see the sign behind us is brand new. We've got our fancy little cow here. There's so many different, intricate, really nice pieces that you'll see throughout this building. And besides the it's fact... It's all about the details. It is. There's so many details. You can book a party. You can have dinner. You can just go to the bar. You can have some appetizers. There's something for everyone really here that I love. The way that this started out was my wife and I love bed and breakfasts. So if you look, that's what we built. We built a nice, relaxing bed and breakfast type feel. And um, that's why I love it. You can work here 15 hours a day and feel good. You feel like you're at home. And, and that's the experience that I wanted. I want somebody to walk through the door and feel like they were at home and go up to the bar, have a drink, and sit down and relax and sit by the fireplaces. I love it. Yeah. And it's true. And what I was saying earlier, too, to get to know your bartenders, your servers, you really do feel like home here when you do come and dine here because it is such a nice, relaxing atmosphere. So, folks, so many reasons to stop by Mohawk House. Steve, it's always a pleasure. What do you what do you expect for the future here? What do you say? More changes, more growing. <laughs> You're always yeah. thinking. We don't go to sleep here. <laughs> no, Steve doesn't sleep. Always something new here at Mohawk House. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>